Today was a good day. It was a crazy day. All right, tell us, just vent. <laughs> Do you really want me to vent right now? Yeah. It starts off like last minute being like, hey, we have this boat available to us. Should we go? Well, yeah, let's go. So we drive, get in the car at 9 a.m. and we drive down to Coral Bay. On the way down, Corona is like, hey, guess what? You can't go to Australia or New Zealand or anywhere in the Pacific. We're like shutting borders. So we we had planned to fly home to the U.S. and all of that just got canceled on our drive down to be on a boat out of cell service all day long. But as we're driving to the boat, we can see off in the distance just like an orange cloud approaching us. Yeah, didn't think, I didn't think too much of it. No, me neither. It's a sandstorm, and it looks like. The end of the world. This is the end. Hold your breath and count to ten. Feel the earth move and then hear my heart burst again. For this is the end. I've drowned and drift this moment So overdue I owe them Swept away I'm so Alright, Callie. She's got you safe. You're gonna hold on to the floaty. I'm right behind you, Jess, okay? You got him? Here, come back. Go ahead and wait for me. So that was the craziness of today, but now let me tell you about the coolness of today. All this apocalyptic madness coming together for just this like eerie, cool, crazy day. Well, one in a million. And as like stressed as I was, it was just one of those things where you're like, look at where I am and look at what I'm doing and who I'm with. And you're like, we're gonna be all right. That's what I told you. I told you we're gonna be But right. you did a good job letting me vent. I needed to vent. <laughs> So that was Jessica's day, you know, just a little bit of stress, stressing about changing flights, not being able to get home, coronavirus, sand, 
storms, tiger sharks. And flies! <laughs> and the flies. If they're like the, literally the worst part. I would take any of those things all day long before those <laughs> freaking flies. Lord, can you give me a little bit of grace? Oh, can you hear me? It's been one of those days. So do you want to tell me about the most fantastic wildlife experience? For sure, probably top five in top all of our experiences around the world. Well, and I also want to start it off with me maybe being a little bit more of a downer, being like, okay, they found some manta rays. It's a little bit murky. I didn't think I was going to get any footage of it because I was like, it's just so blurry. Let's just go and enjoy it. And then the manta rays started to circle engulfed us i had told the kids before we got in that you don't wave to manas like this you wave to them like this and so they were just kind of heading away from us manila was ahead of the group and all of a sudden manila just called the manta rays and they began to circle us no, you hold on my back okay tornado of manta rays and around just, our little it family just, and we just, just kept, clumped together and it just kept going though it was one of those things i was like oh this will happen for like 10 seconds and like i think you can hear me freaking out and being like what is happening and <laughs> so it went, just kind of like this <laughs> but it went on for a minute it, sounded, it, it felt like a really it felt like time. a minute yeah and absolutely one of the most like breathtaking special experiences you just held on to me afterwards you were like Hold up. I did, huh? <laughs> I was like, okay, babe, that's cool. 
Oh my gosh, and we're pregnant. No. <laughs> that was that was incredible. And then ah, oh, the kids, the kids, they loved it so much. They did. They and understood. they couldn't stop talking about it afterwards. Such a special moment. We're so grateful. The, thank you everyone who was on board that boat that made that happen, that made that possible, that helped us capture it. Such a special moment that we're forever going to be grateful for. We'll never forget. We loved it. The people on the boat were so special. I, I told the captain on our way back, I said, thank you so much for all that you do. Not only did you show our family an unforgettable experience, but it means a lot to us when the people that are doing these tours, taking out these boats, respect the ocean and the wildlife the way that they do. Well, and there were so many times where he was like, I will, like our captain, mm -hmm. Frazier was like, I will watch Callie, you have to get in and see this. See, and I was like, shows that's how much really he amazing. It, right? Cause he was like, you can't miss this. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna get in. Do you see, so at the, at the very end of the day, the boat pulled up into the dock and uh, Callie was like, baby boat, baby boat. And Frazier's like, oh, you wanna see the baby boat? I'll take you out on the boat.